here at Chester, Illinois. I'm just gonna fish this sandbar. There's a big boat ramp right here above me and the water comes around a corner so there's a big point right there. And so there's a big scout hole right here. Um, I really like to fish through these dams, but it was just too long of a walk to get out to the end of them. This was, as you can see, my van's right there behind me. I just had to come down this hill. So if I need to go get a drink or whatever, or the car and a lot of stuff out there, I think this will be deep enough to actually catch some fish just right from the bank. The only thing not in my favor today is very strong winds, about 15 mile an hour. Uh, it's out of the south, east, really directly out of the south. Just, it's very windy, which I hate when you're bank fishing. But uh, I'm just going to tough it out. It's a complete overcast. And it is still the full moon. So I'm hoping to get on some flatheads. My goal is to get flathead or blue cat. And not drum. I hate every time I come to the Mississippi River, I catch a lot of drum. And I'm trying to avoid them today. I just want blue cat and flatheads. So I also have my casting net with me right here but I'm going to try to cast it and catch some skipjack or shad all right guys what I'm going to do now is get my pole holders beat into the sand get, I'm going to have one there one right out in front of me and one kind of to the right about 20 feet apart from each other uh 40 feet apart from each other and uh I got to fix all my poles up and get loaded up geared up whatever you want to call it and I'll turn back on once I get all three of my poles out with bells I'm going to be using 30 pound Berkeley Big Game and Big Cat Rods with Red Wigglers and hopefully I'll catch some shad. Stay tuned guys. Hopefully this is another epic day. Alright guys, I fished out my three balls out. Spaced out about... Just wait. Unfortunately I could not catch any shad. I suck at throwing the net. Up egg shaped. If I was better at it, I could probably get some. I'm good when I'm uh, up on a platform, I can do it. But level ground, I suck. I'll just turn back on when I get up. Alright, guys, I'm on for something. my pole out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
out of the pole holder and into the river and I grabbed it. Oh, this is 20 or 30 pounds. Can you hear me? I'm about to, I'm about to tell you. I don't know, but it's big. I'm glad I was looking. God. Oh, I got him too. Oh. Yeah, luckily I got 35 pound line. God, he's trying to go on the damn bank way down there. Gonna get me hung. Uh, he's on there. Yeah. Problem is, I gotta watch my other poles while I'm doing this. This is this is a catfish. I can tell by the way it's please staying down. It might be a big blue. Dang on a worm. I'm about to find out. I only got him about halfway in. Uh, yeah, he's wanting to stay real. He's wanting to hug the bank way down there, but I'm pulling him up. I got him about 10 feet from me. Oh my God. I don't know what this is, but he's about to break my line if I don't watch it. Boy, he's really fighting now. Yes, it's a big blue cat. Oh, he's 10 or 12 pounds. Oh, oh. God, he's pulling my line out real hard now once he's seen me. Oh my God. He wasn't even fighting until he knew he seen me and he went ballistic. God, he just ran about 50 yards out. Whew. My God. Yeah. Well, this made it worth coming if I can get him. I really need my dip net, but it's about 50 feet away from me. I can walk him down there, I guess. Oh my God, walk him down to... Whoa, he's about 15, 20 pounds. Big for a catching him on a worm. My gosh. I got him up to the sand now. Okay. I, I'll let you go so I can go grab the dip net. I'll take a picture of him with my phone. Oh, he's wrapped up too. That line's wrapped in his gills. Oh, I'm lucky if it don't cut it. I'll give you a call in a little while. Yeah, he's about 15 pounds. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, barely hooked. I pulled that hook right out. Oh my God. Whew. Well, that's made it worth coming. All right, guys. I got about a 20 pound blue cat here. He's easily 20 pounds. What a hoss. Oh, what a fish. catfish for a worm. Usually the ones this size do not bite worms. They want live bait. Big bluegill. I'm talking to my camera. Oh, okay. That's a nice blue cat, guys. He's about 20 pounds. I was talking to my dad on the phone all of a sudden I looked over and my pole was like this about to get go in the water. I'm watching you. My goodness. My God. One last look. This blue cat. Oh, oh what a hoss. What a hoss.
guys. Dang it, man. I'm gonna come get the dip, man. to the knot. It's that big. I'm gonna try. He's about to run away right now if I don't get this way. Oh my god. This is a giant guy. Of this dip net. Woo! Somehow I gotta get down to this dip net. This is a dip net fish, 100%. Oh my god, this is definitely a blue or a big flathead. I'm thinking it's a blue, but I don't know. It's definitely one of the two, it ain't anything else. Woo! Oh, this is a big one! <laughs> My God, it's got to be 30 pounds.
spike twice. Just run some of this drag. He's that big. That's a big old blue, big old blue cat, guys.
God. Holy crap. This thing is like 60 or 70 pounds, guys. Oh my God, I'm very underestimated. Yeah, it's not right, right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this thing. He, do, he only fits halfway in the net, guys. He is about 70 pounds on a freaking worm. Oh, freaking worm. Oh my God. God, I need help. Oh my God. It's about 70 pounds. Good God. It's already recording. Whatever you see on the screen is what it'll show, basically. What do you want me to show? Okay. Uh, Just I'll, you. I'll probably hold it different ways, yeah. I'll probably hold it up and down. Sideways will be kind of hard. All right, guys. This catfish broke my scale. But we're guessing at least 50, 40 to 60. It's over 50, I can tell by picking it up. Yeah, on a rod and reel, that's pretty good size. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll try to hold it sideways, but I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Especially if you're doing that. There he is, guys. Am I taking up the whole screen? Get a little closer. Close. So don't cut the tail off. No. Oh, okay. Come on. There it is. You almost got the whole screen. Yeah, damn, I think he made me go 60. Well, so much for not getting dirty, huh? Yeah, yeah. He got nice shoes on to be fishing a the river. They, they were brand new. I bought them just for this, though. Oh. Because all my other ones are part of the rock. We're getting them wet too many times. Carry that dang thing down the hill again. Guys, I'm just going to say it's at 50 pounds. Boy, it ain't the camera ain't going to do it any justice. But if you could just be here in person. appreciate it if you can see it in person they only look so big on film it's the problem I can put my hand there for comparison okay yeah that shows he's he's twice as tall as that soda can isn't he If I lay down like that, it looks a lot better because you can see how fat it is. Yeah, that's just him uh, gorging. Yeah, guys, this definitely made my day. I've had three good days in a row. Three record whatever it shows on the screen. What do you want me to do? Cutting the tail off though. Alright guys, we're gonna get one good quick look at this catfish and I'm gonna get him back to safety. Oh that's right, you do that thing on the YouTube, don't you? Yeah. You're all about to. He's got his own channel for fishing on YouTube there. Uh, Joshua McConkey. That's the name of it? Yeah. You gotta get a better name. That is a monster. <laughs> God, I could, you said struggling to hold that up. I can't even hold it hard. I'm gonna try to get one sideways, but there's so many rocks on it now. Yeah, it looks like a poor bastard. They'll live though, they're strong. Yeah. They'll live out of water two hours. I've wow. personally seen it. Yeah. You know what the bad thing about that fish? Yeah, that's what they say. 
I don't need nothing I don't out of here. I don't care if I get dirty at this point. I, I want good pictures of this fish. There you go. That is a beast. Guys, I'm going to say this is 60 pounds. It may be bigger, maybe smaller. It's my personal best on rod and reel. Actually, personal best, period. There may be a close one on Asian carp, but I don't know. Oh, I'm going to get down the hill. <laughs> Hey, you hear him? Here we go. There you go. Yeah, I don't work. I'm going to do the tailgate. 